Hello fellow pomade lovers. A couple of people on the oil based pomade enthusiast Facebook group asked me to do a tutorial um, of how I style my hair. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've already applied the pomade. Um, I don't think you need to see how to do that. In case anyone doesn't know, you just smear it with your hands, put it in there. Make sure it's evenly uh, spread around and we get up from roots to tips. Um, for this I'm using the Ollie Made Firm Oil Based Pomade, which is one of my favourite, if not my favourite, oil based pomade. It's really, really nice. It's a proper firm oil based pomade, scoops out really easy, applies really easily. Um, this along with the um, Hillbilly Grease are my two favourite of the German homebrew pomades I've got. I've got six of them, um, which Ollie Janssen very kindly put together for me and Tim. Um, he also did it in a signature anarchy in the UK uh, scent, which is really nice. Sweeter than I normally go for, but it is really nice. It's still really fresh and it's not too sweet. I mean, it's lovely. Um, so yeah, I've already applied it to my hair. It was applied to about a week's worth of build-up as well, so I just used two scoops. Um, about the size of the, my, the tip of my finger. Two scoops. If I was doing it onto clean hair with no build up, I would probably use three as a, as a rule of thumb or finger. Um, so it's already applied and it's ready to go. Um, so I've just applied it through my fingers. So now I'll use the comb. So this is a the comb that I use to push it all back. It's it, I got it off eBay with about three pounds. It was actually advertised as a cricket comb, but when it turned up, it's a Tony and Guy comb. That doesn't really matter. It's still a good comb. The teeth on it are a bit wider than a standard comb, quite a bit wider. And then it's got obviously the fine ones on that side. Um, I mainly just use the wider ones. I might use the finer ones just on the edges here. Um, to give you an idea as well, my hair is about down to my mouth, so it's quite long. Um, my hair is very thick and wavy, so the reason I have it that long is because I find it helps with the structure of the pompadour, which I'll show you when I come to actually um, form the pompadour. Um, the wave sort of bends over, and because it, it's got the length there, it sort of anchors down and um, that, I find that length is pretty much perfect for me down to my mouth. Some people I know have it a lot shorter, but I like it longer. Um, I usually have the sides as like a skin fade as well, but I've grown it out a bit, which I, I'm enjoying the longer sides as well. Might keep them, I think. Might just get the, I think it's a contour, where you just get the edges shaved out. I, might, I think I might just get that done next time and keep the sides a bit longer. Also saves you going to the barbers so often especially with them shutting intermittently at the minute due to lockdowns. Um, so comb it all back. I'm using a small mirror here, which I don't usually use. I'm not really used to it, so it's a bit trickier. Um, then comb the top to one side and then find the part. So the part's quite easy for me to find because the top's a lot longer than the sides, so I just know all these longer bits need to go over. Quite easy to find the part. That's it. To sort of comb the top over sort of diagonally. And comb down the sides. Angle that mirror down a bit, that's better. So there's the part. Come down the sides, come down the back. So there you go. Um, so yeah, I sort of do my hair all diagonally over. I know some people that when they do the side part pompadour, they would do it completely side parted and then form the pump. I do it a sort of diagonally over like this. Again, that's just a personal preference. So once it's all coming back with this, 
I use probably the most important pompadour comb tool, which is the Afro pick. Um, this one is just from Asda. I think it was again it was about three pounds. Um, you can get them in boots as well, exactly the same one, but it's like a pound fifty cheap, uh, more expensive in boots than it is in Asda. It's exactly the same though. Um, it's quite small, but I really like it. The teeth are actually longer than I've got a cricket one, which the teeth are actually shorter. The, the dimensions of the comb in general are a lot bigger, but the teeth are actually longer on this one because it doesn't sort of cut across straight. Um, it's a really nice comb. I can, it's, I can fit it in my pocket as well, so I carry one around with me all the time to restyle throughout the day. It's nice and flexible, so I know it's not going to break in my pocket if it gets like lent on or anything. Um, yeah, perfect little comb. Um, so then just go. Got a rogue bit there, can move down. So now we just comb the top, the afro comb. I know some people would just use a comb like this to do the whole thing. I can't do a pompadour with that comb at all. I need the long, the long teeth. So you can see the afro pick already starts to get some volume into it, and then it's just a case of dragging it up a bit, dragging it up. Drag it up, use the other hand to sort of pat it down the top. Make sure it sort of stays neat further back as well. So you're just literally just dragging it up and pushing it forward. Dragging it up and pushing it forward. And now this is why I have the why I have the length I do, is because now you can see that the hair goes up and comes back and then the tips of the front of the hair sort of anchor down at the back. And that's what gives it structure and shape. So like when you're using a firm or heavy oil base pomade, I can go out, I live in Northern Ireland, I can go out in the wind and the rain and it just doesn't, it doesn't even move. It's firmly set into place. So just dragging it up and then with the other hand, pushing it forward and making sure, as I said, the tips are going down and anchoring at the back. So you're sort of like using your fingers like that to just put, pat it down as you're doing it. And then make sure that side's nicely pushed back. And then it's literally okay, so you're sort of coming round, getting gathering the hair at the front and just pushing it all forward. You can see what my hand is doing there. Getting behind it and just pushing it all forward. And then just shaping it with your hand. Once you've done that and you've got the general shape. And just using the afro pick and a hand on top, just tease it forward a bit. And that is pretty much it. Tease it forward a bit more. So I like to have it a nice round. I don't go for a really, really tall bomb door. This is probably about as tall as I would go. I like it just to be a nice round shape. As Danny Teo on the Squinty Show always says, it's, I prefer a nice, as long as it's a nice round shape. He likes his pulled really forward, like a proper like greasy pompadour. I don't put mine as forward as him. I do a little bit, but I just like it a nice round shape and sort of slightly forward. But that is pretty much it. Just a little bit sticking up there. Just saying it's quite tricky in this little mirror. I'd usually use a big, bigger one. Um, but that is, that is pretty much it. So you can faff around with them for ages trying to get it absolutely perfect. But that's the that's the general gist of it. And then I'll probably just go around again with the other comb and make sure it's all the back's combed down and the sides are combed down. So there you go. That's pretty much it. You see? Make sure the back's down. You can as well if you want, then put it forward. This one's got a bit more grip. You'd use this comb to put it forward a bit more. 
I say, I don't, I don't put it forward a crazy amount. That's probably about it. About it. There you go. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you did like it, let me know. Um, I might be interested in doing a few more videos, maybe review a few pomades and that, just the, of the stuff that I've got already. Um, specifically, obviously, for people with thick, wavy hair like I've got. Um, there's not so many reviews for people with sort of thick, wavy hair. So if people would enjoy that and find it useful, let me know. And I would perhaps be interested in doing that. That's about it. Cheers. <laughs>